This is the 2020 Indiana State Masters Champion, Zach Weidman. Zach just got his PBA card last year. Rolled a couple regionals looking for his first tour title, a native of just outside Indianapolis. Runs the pro shop there at Strike Force Lanes, about 20 minutes east of Indianapolis. His first shot. Exactly what you want. A 10-time PBA Tour Champion and U.S. Open winner, three-time member of Team USA and the 2009 PBA Player of the Year, Wes Malott. 19th year, Randy, as a pro. Jason, I know that every time I took on a, a first-time player, a first-time uh, player as, uh, as far as television went, uh, I was always pretty psyched about that because I always felt I had an advantage. Go ball. Yeah, I think that that's the, the general feeling. To end up lofting the ball at some point. Yeah, it's a good question, Randy. I think what we're already seeing now from, from Zach and Wes is they're already further left. The guy who decides to move further right later on, he might have an advantage on this particular transitioning pair. Former All-American at West Texas A&M looking go, for the day's go. first triple. Finds it. Got to have that one. Malat Weidman, the winner to take on three seed Ronnie Russell. Nick Pate in seventh, another great player out here. Boy, I'll tell you, that, that ball roll is pretty unique. Of course. Yeah. That was how I was supposed to throw it, you know, the frame before. Not easy to do, spare, strike to, to win your first match on TV, but looking very solid. Gets the strike. Just needs count. I'll tell you what, neither player has missed the pocket in this opening match, and that's usually conducive to pretty high scores, and that's what we got here in match number one. What a way to finish for Zach Weidman. The final four are strikes, so Weidman moves on 258, 237. And we begin with the 26-year-old Weidman. Oh, God. Weidman again starts with a strike. He owns four PBA Tour titles and bowled the PBA's 24th televised perfect game in 2014, Ronnie Russell. 18th year on the tour for the 41-year-old. Bowled two 300 games during his 28 games of qualifying to get here in Milwaukee. The Central Regional Qualification, and he starts with the strike as well. Carefree mentality has entered his aura. That's got you really lucky. Come on, seven. No, I agree, but if it does anything for the player, it should help loosen up that swing. Correct. Which then... Missed it. Which then helps you make better shots. That's not what we're seeing. It was back-to-back -back four shots, and now I missed spare. Ev. About an hour away. Go. Go. Perfect through five. Perfect through six. We might have a PBA alert coming by in a moment. Stand by. Go. Get the alert up. Here we go. Chasing 300 is on for Zach Weidman. I, I do. I, I mean, think so. He's got, he's got the ability. We keep saying yeah. he's got the ability. I think the only person that can prevent Ronnie Russell from making television Ronnie Russell. is Ronnie Russell. Yeah, I agree. Or facing Zach Weidman day in and day out. Weidman going for the Bo Derrick. No! Denied the perfect 10. And the chase is over. The pursuit is done. A little pit stop move. Kick him into the guardrail, and he is done. I just he got, moves on. I just got an alert on my phone. They've right. reopened the city of Jupiter. <laughs> the Florida turnpike <laughs> is open in both directions. <laughs>
Oh, what a run for Zach Wyden yep, and gets absolutely. the opening nine frames. Continuing coverage of the PBA on FS1. Weidman starts us off. Match number three. Third straight match. He starts with the strike. A two-time PBA champion, USBC Masters champion, three-time member of Team USA, and the 2018 PBA Player of the Year. This is Andrew Anderson. Fifth year on the tour, just 25 years old. Won the 2018 Masters in that magical year for him. Only made one TV show last season. That was a doubles where he partnered with Prather to finish fourth. And he starts by leaving the 10 pin. Pretty good opening shot there, Jason, for Andrew. He's got a great ball roll. I mean, it's, uh, it's, I think it's one of his trademarks. He's got that kind of that old school game, you know, a little slower going to the foul line, kind of tall and long, high backswing, medium rev rate. Missed it. Open frame first. And never mind. <laughs> All right, there we go. Left the 10 pin. 3-10. Sorry, Rob. Uh, Anderson missed the 10 pin in the first frame. But this now evens the matchup yep. with Zach. If he were to spare this, we're even is what I'm saying. So this is going to get very, very interesting in the next couple of frames. Weidman takes care of that. And, and consider this too, guys. Weidman has not been pushed today at all. His only mistake came on his second shot with the 10 pin in the first frame. Since then, nothing but strikes. Beautiful shot here. I think Jason hit it on the head when we were talking earlier. 2018 Player of the Year comes a lot of expectation and responsibility. Get there. Go. Go! No. Did not go, and he is in trouble in the tent. Well, the hard thing, too, is this is going to be an open frame, and like Randy just drew on the screen Take there, the it, was a, clock, bro. it was three, the minute, uh, three boards further to the right. Speed was up a little bit. Uh, he needed it to come back. But here is the, the difficult thing for Andrew. Not only has he given Zach an opportunity to oh, win this game with all two strikes, that. but that 7-2 also hurts him with the count. Yep and throws it wide right. You heard him say shot clock, shot clock a couple times. Go. Weidman, what do you got, kid? Another strike in the bag. Unfazed is this kid. Nine to move on. Well, he needs to shoot 265 to shoot 800. He needs to shoot 266 to win by one. Nine to move on. Good shot. Give him nine and just barely. First time on television, shoots 800 plus for the first three games, just averaging. It's what we predicted <laughs> in the pregame, <laughs> right? I know, just averaging a little over 260. <laughs> he owns three career PBA Tour titles with two major victories. The 2018 PBA Players Champion, this is Tom Smallwood. Native of Saginaw, 18th year on the tour, 43 years old. His big moment, it came back in 09, just a second career TV appearance, won the World Championship in Wichita, dropping West Malott. Former unemployed auto worker turned PBA pro. One of the best in the biz. Down and off the lanes, and he starts with the strike. This format so unique. Give me one second. Yeah, nothing new by Zach. Is is the opportunity that was afforded to players to compete in this event 
because of the different regions. So now instead of having to go from Arizona to New Jersey to bowl this event, which you know a lot of a lot of players can't do. I shot this four-point buck over here. This is that. Did he miss? Did he miss a wedding? Perfect yeah. through five. And, and, yeah, and also keep in mind he doesn't use a, a gun or a rifle. He uses a bow. Crossbow. Um, I know that uh, I never say a bad word about Tom because he no. can get you from a few hundred You won't yards even know. <laughs> you won't even know it's coming. Uh-oh. So now, really for the first time today, it's Weidman chasing back to back spares. And it's the same pin. It's the four pin. Yeah. The ball over reading, reading that friction uh, yeah. on the lane. So the move would be to, to migrate a little further left and use that friction uh, still, but to see more oil first. Uh, again, I don't know. I don't know if there's a ball change. I wouldn't ball change. I mean, this ball is, is rolling great. I just kind of got a little... Uh... A little mesmerized by the, the ocean backdrop. Mm, and it's gorgeous out here. It really is. Smallwood. Get it! Get it! Get oh. it! Ah. That's a terrible shot. That's pretty fortunate. Stupid 10 pin again. <laughs> but now the 7 pin is starting to get on my nerves, too. Yeah, yeah. So I've, I've got, you know, the two guys on the end are, let's be honest, they're a little annoying. Uh oh. Double dribble. Mm hmm. Yeah. Back Jason, back tens. Jason, how much of that double dribble early affected that pin carry? I think more than that, I think it was how far inside of target down lane the ball was. So, yeah, the double dribble will have, would have affected the way that the ball got into the roll, but it was a little tighter on the inside. The break point was a little left, so he didn't see way the left. same angle. Yeah, way left. And that's exactly what he did on, yeah, the, yeah. on the right lane for yep. the 10 pin as well. But it's been three spares in a row. Three, yeah. nine spares in a row for Weidman after an opening triple. Deeper. Oh. Two frames cost him that win, other than Simonson shooting 279 at him. But it was really that right lane and two shots that got him. I mean, he bowled phenomenally all day. Same thing with Weidman. I think he, he didn't really recognize the move until it was too late. And then once he made the move, it took him another frame or two to get it dialed in. Weidman down with a 226. A strike for the win. Slowwood moves on. Yeah. And as hard as it is to win, Anything on the PBA Tour from the number one seed. We've got three in a row now. Well, I can tell you that meant a lot to Tom. <laughs> you heard it. Yeah. <laughs> that meant a lot I, to I was Tom. trying to, I was trying to. That was, that was. How about three dudes in a booth staring at each other at the same time? <laughs> it was like that Spider-Man gif where we're all pointing uh, at each other in Spider-Man suits. Yeah. <laughs> well, the top seed has made it through each week. Uh, is that a theme as well that we're looking at? Is, is it Kyle it seems Troop? To, it we'll, seems we'll to be, with Kyle Troop. It seems to be usually the top seed has a, what, a, a, a 500, less than less 500? than 50% chance uh, historically. So maybe 2021 is the year of the top seed. That ought to, that ought to favor you well. <laughs> Not for this tournament. <laughs> Except for this tournament, yeah. Very impressive today, man. Very impressive. Many bold awesome. Yeah, good nice stuff touch there. of class, yep. as always, from Smalls. Here's the shot that won it. Just needed a mark. He'll take the strike. And there's no better mark than a perfect shot. And it was that second burst of energy and emotion from Smallwood that caught us off guard. That's not the Tom Smallwood we typically are accustomed to seeing. I kind of liked it. Yeah.